Hello, I'm Ronan Chris Murphy, and if you follow my adventures, you know this has been one heck of a year for me. The highlight, of course, being a giant 150-foot tree falling down and smashing my studio, destroyed the building, destroyed a lot of my gear, destroyed my business for about three months or so. <laughs> but overall, since that happened, the universe has been good to us. I've been uh, spending time at my home in Italy uh, and working out of this temporary studio here in California. And this place has worked out great. It's a comfy place uh, with some speaker placement and acoustic treatment and about 200 pounds of bass trapping. I actually got the room sounding really good and I've been able to do a bunch of work that I've uh, been really, really happy with. But this place was always intended to be temporary. So I've been on the lookout to either buy or rent a, a new place to build my studio. And uh, I, this came as a surprise to me, but I found a place. And I found a place 3,000 miles or 5,000 kilometers away from here. So um, I bought a farm. So <laughs> uh, I bought a farm in a place called the Berkshires of Western Massachusetts. So off on the East Coast. Uh, and I'm really, really excited about it. One, the area is amazing. And the area is really the thing that sealed the deal for us to want to go there. Beautiful, rural, lovely, picturesque New England, but also it's one of the cultural art centers of the United States. So the Tanglewood Music uh, Festival is 30 minutes down the road from the farm. About 14 minutes from the farm is Mass Mocha, the largest contemporary art museum in North America. Our local museum in our town has one of the biggest, most important impressionist collections in the United States. Um, Jacob's Pillow Dance um, Center is about 35 minutes away. Uh, James Taylor lives about 30 minutes down the road. Um, Tony Maserati actually has a studio out in the Berkshires as well. Um, and other cool stuff like Wilco actually every two years produces a music festival um, in the next town over and Bang on a Can uh, does a residency every year. So there's a lot of stuff going on. But we loved the area and we found a really cool place that's going to allow us to develop the next generation of Veneto West Studio and the next generation of my recording boot camp business. So we bought a farm. It's a, uh, a really, really cool um, place. And actually, it's a farm that sits right on a golf course. And actually, this yellow arrow right here kind of shows you where the farm is. So pretty nice area. But we bought this great property that's got an old farmhouse about 150 years old and a couple barns and the barns are why we bought the property. So what we're going to be doing is renovating and developing this into the, the new Veneto West studio, um, also the new home of Recording Boot Camp, as well as just kind of a general creative center for ourselves and our friends and clients we collaborate with. It's going to be a great space that's going to allow me to do mixing and mastering, etc. But also there's going to be enough enough space there that I'm, I'm going to finally have a good space for tracking when I want to keep things here in my own space as well. Even though, of course, anyone who follows me knows that I love to bounce around the world and work in lots of different places. But also on the educational part of what I do, uh, for the last several years, I haven't done really recording boot camps, my six-day program in the United States. And the big reason is for my last studio, while a great, incredible sounding room for mixing and mastering, really wasn't set up well for small groups of people to come in and study with me. But this new place is actually going to have a lot of great opportunity. So I'm going to be able to start doing more of my in-person uh, training again. And also for a lot of people on the East Coast who where the West Coast or Italy has been not realistic, this will hopefully make things a lot easier for both kind of educational clients as well as production mixing and mastering folks. So uh, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but we're actually only three hours from the center of New York City or New Jersey. We're two and a half, 240 to Boston, four hours to Montreal. So it's actually gonna be a lot easier for me to connect and collaborate with a lot of folks on the East Coast where me having places in California and Europe wasn't as practical. The first order of business is going to be putting in phase one of the studio. And thankfully, the second story of 
a big part of the barn is already renovated. So uh, there's some things to do, some walls to take down and walls to build and things to put up, but that is gonna go up fairly quickly. And so we're gonna have the new studio up and running there, hopefully within March, um, but a little farther down the road, we're also ex gonna expand more of the barn into more studio space. Uh, we're going to actually put in a photography studio for my photography business, but we're also going to be renovating different parts of the property to have just this kind of fun, beautiful, creative center for both my own work, but also again, the friends and clients that I collaborate with. So I'm super, super excited about that. There's going to be some work to do, but I'm really, really excited about it. And speaking of the work to do, one of the things that I'm hoping to do uh, is to make this video here, video one of a studio build diary. So for uh, folks like me who are geeky enough to be into this kind of thing, uh, I'm gonna try and document as much as I can of the process of converting this barn into a cool recording studio. So everything from what we're doing with the contractors to sort of change actually the physical structure of the building, uh, gear decisions we're gonna make, speaker placement decisions, uh, all the things about the acoustic treatment we're gonna have to do, all of these things I'm gonna try and take you along for the ride. Uh, so if you're geeky enough to like that kind of stuff, like me, um, <laughs> um, make sure you kind of do that uh, notifications, bell and subscription and all that kind of business, or just, keep searching me out on other social media and stay in touch. So um, the first, these first couple months, it's gonna be a little bit sparse. Um, I'm doing a lot of work in California, a few trips to Massachusetts to work with contractors on some things. But then hopefully in the first part of March is when we actually start moving the studio in and we get into a lot of the more geeky stuff. So uh, probably be kind of far and few between uh, for these studio diaries um, for this first, month or two and then should get a lot busier. So again, if you dig that kind of stuff, um, I'm super excited about this journey. And uh, if you think you might enjoy coming along for the ride, uh, make sure you follow me any way that makes sense for you. All right, that's it for now. I got to get back to actually doing some of this California work I got to finish up before I start heading out to Massachusetts.